All right, I want to answer a question real quick that was on Facebook. Somebody said, should I buy new equipment, make payments, or should I buy used equipment? Um, this one right here is not what I started out with. Um, I started out with an old homeowner's lawnmower, and it did what it needed to do, and it made what I needed to do happen. Then I purchased this for about five grand. Um, this is new to me, but it was used. And as you can see, it's an older mower, but it blazed beautiful stripes. It stripes all day, beautiful. So it was affordable. So to answer your question, should you buy new or should you make payments? You need to stick to what's in your price range. Um, if you have a crap load of accounts and you can afford it, get it. Just buy it. If you don't, I don't. I don't understand. Like, don't make, don't buy a bunch of equipment that you don't use because you just don't use. Um, I have a Cub Cadet, um, and it was a homeowner's one. It hung with the best lawns, but uh, it just was slower and wasn't fast enough, and it bogged down. Now, this is old, but new to me. This is a Gravely, and it probably was built in 1336, but this has been a beautiful mower. It cuts beautiful. It's not high. It's belt driven, so it takes a minute. I mean, you got to just learn yourself with this. Um, it's hard to really explain. I found this out in the yard. Hope it wasn't off my mower. But um, anyways, like I said, everything in my trailer, I bought my steel brand new. One thing is I just buy steel new because I've had it for three years. It hasn't done me wrong yet. Um, I have to do a 2016 lawn care video of my trailer. I mean 2018. I'm trying to do this really quick. So when I did the flower bed, I bought stuff for the flower bed. $80 sucks. You know, I bought everything I needed to do flower beds. Um, when I get jobs, I kind of just buy the things as I need it. I don't just have a trailer full of stuff that looks cool. It's like, like oh, I got a lawn care business. Everything I have in my trailer is for a reason. I purchased it for a reason. Um, hold on. A few things is, you know, there's a lot more, the brakes are gone. It's like $300 to fix the brakes. But that's part of what you got to do when you um buy things you use, you know. You got to put some work to them. I did not fix the brakes yet. I actually just spent 20 bucks on these anchors, anchor them to the frame of the trailer, and I just put a strap on it real quick, and... As easy as this. Hook, pull, ratchet. As easy as that. My lawnmower don't go anywhere. And 60 bucks on that compared to the 400 to fix it. I'll probably get the 400 to fix it. It's just right now. I don't have that time to have it, have it down. Keep the can in here for garbage. I should get a Menard one. Just because, I don't know. Uh, it's what it is. But... Very quick video to answer the question on Facebook. Should I buy new equipment, make payments, or should I get used? Like I said, get what is affordable for you. Don't just buy what everyone else has because it looks cool. Buy what you can afford. Um, another thing is, you guys have a dealership around you? Buy something from your dealership that's close by if you're going to get new. Get something close by if you're going to get new because A... Um, you bought from them, so if you're down, they're going to do what you need to do to get you back out onto the field. If you buy, like, a used one from a homeowner's, and then you bring it into them, they're going to probably take care of people who purchase from them, so you might be down for a minute. I'm not going to say they're going to push you to the side, they're going to still put you in order, but priorities are people who buy and purchase from a dealership. So, buy and purchase from a dealership that you have. Also, another thing you can do is, um, say, say your town's like my town. I have a Club Cadet and a Gravely, and we have, um, a Skag dealership around here, which I didn't know we had Skag. I might actually buy me a Skag, but I'm really liking Gravely. And I'm sorry that I'm talking so quick, because I don't got much time. 
So, back to what I was saying is, we have them three dealerships around us. What you should do is, buy from one of them three dealerships. There gotta be one more that you, could, that you can deal with out of those three. I want a snapper, but we don't have a snapper dealership nearby. We have one in St. Clair, but that'd be a 45 minute to a half hour drive if I had any, any issues compared to like a five minute shoot over. And more likely my dealership would give me a, a borrowed lawnmower to use because I do so much business with them. So make sure you buy a, a, a lawnmower that is in your area. So if you are having any downtime, you can, you know, get fixed, get back on the road. Because as long as you're down, money you're losing. Plus, who wants to drive all that extra time just to turn back around and go where you're going? All right, well, I got to go. I was just trying to tell you. Okay, we got long care businesses everywhere. Everybody trying to make that money cutting that grass. That's an older one. Look at they had an older one. All I'm telling is, you guys, you don't need top dollar equipment to make top dollar. When you get the top dollar equipment, it makes your life uh, easy. I did this field the other day. Nine acres. And if you, I don't know if you can see down there. I don't know if you can see down there, but it got real ugly, real quick. Like, it was really good down there. There used to be a school here, high school. They tore it down, buried whatever they could bury. But the grass is really healthy over there. Over here, it just grows decent. But, yeah, so I took this field. what I do. Has some grass hanging here, but like I'm saying, they don't, they need to have me cut it once a week. But back to what I was saying, man. Answer that question. You, you kind of know what you want to purchase and what you don't want to purchase. And I mean, that's good that you can uh, Facebook up to ask for some advice, because I've done that. We've all done that. Uh, I'm not sure if you are a YouTube subscriber of mine, but if you are, like, share, and subscribe. I mean, for everyone, like, share, and subscribe my page. Um, it's a small page, but it's a powerful page. Um, I'm still working on editing it and getting it all right and getting it all together. So, I gotta go. Gotta get my nice to graduation uh, marching, and I will talk to you later. Like, just look, guys, see? Everywhere you turn, people are cutting grass because... I mean, I can't 10 more lawn care companies, and we're still not going to be out with no money. Hold on, wait for this car. Look, at he's going backwards. So he's not paying no attention. He's doing that so he don't have to walk walk with the backpack, backpack blower. But... As much time as he's been going that slow, he probably would have been more efficient just to go back, get the backpack blower. Look, they got two trucks, two trailers. They holding it down. He probably would have been better off just to go back, get the backpack blower, and walk it out. And with two trailers, they should just have somebody like the weed whackers. They should have them take the backpack blowers and go and blow the sidewalk off. But that's their business. That's what they do, and that's how they do it. And Honestly, I've never had a complaint with how I see their yard look, the, the, the hospital look anyways. But right now I'm rambling. I'll talk to you later. I'm about to pull up and get my nephew. Um, keep on, keep growing, keep making that money. Stripe your life. That's all I can say, man. Stripe your life. Because them stripes make dollars. And dollars feed your family. And if you don't got family like that, just get you some money in your pocket. I'll talk to you later.